I think it was a blessing for people to come to understand what they were doing in terms of abortions, in terms of selling body parts. You know, and they claim they claim that they're primarily there for women too. The fact of the matter is there are lots of other organizations that don't engage in killing babies who provide excellent care for women. Many, many years ago, I actually wrote articles about fetal tissue procurement and the ethics of doing that. And so the rules are pretty simple that I came up with. I said, look, you can't buy or sell the tissue, but you can get reimbursed for processing fees. And they're small, but it costs money to get tissue. I said you had to get the consent of the woman, and you had to make sure that you didn't change the abortion technique. Those are pretty solid rules, I think. They can be done today, and I don't have any real reason to think that Planned Parenthood isn't following those rules because it's turned into a witch hunt uh, against Planned Parenthood, and that's it. Nobody really cares about making sure that fetal tissue procurement is okay. This is just the battleground for abortion. That's what it is. Doctor, With regard oh, to Dr. Planned Dr. Parenthood, what, uh, have, what medical ethics have they violated? What medical ethics has who violated? Planned Parenthood. In terms of selling body parts, you mean? In general, you criticize them. In terms them. of tearing what, babies apart? Is what, that what you mean? What medical ethics have they violated? Medical ethics of selling body parts and manipulating the babies in order to preserve certain body parts so that you can sell them. If you go and you look at the statutes, you will see that that is illegal. So they are breaking the law. That is your contention. Uh, I like I said, go and look at the law, and you'll see for yourself. And when attorney generals in different states are investigating, they're not finding anything either, I should say. Right. So they are the main health providers for lots and lots of women, poor women, uh, young women, women who are getting, uh, you know, cervical cancer screenings, and they're a major source of contraception. If you want to bump up the abortion rate, close Planned Parenthood, because a lot of people won't be able to get their contraception.